Okay, day guys, Big right here, and as promised, I'm gonna make a video about fixing this uh, SMC material on uh, 01 to 07 dualies. And as you can see, I already started. Uh, I just got carried away and uh, did not film, but I'm gonna show you because I got way more to go. Uh, for instance, you see there's there's my cracks, but uh, this is the technique that I use. This was all shattered because it was winter and it was very brittle. So when it hit. It just exploded into a million pieces. So I drilled hold, I drilled holes, and I put tie wraps and held everything temporarily together. And then I made sure I got the right the right curvature by using two pieces of tape, so it would be solid. And then it's just a matter of uh, stitching everything together. Okay, once you got a first coat done, in between the tie wraps, you can then remove the tie wrap. We're gonna grind that down. And we'll go for a second coat. I'm gonna go with two two year layers of uh, mesh on either side, and it should be plenty strong. Believe it or not, it's really strong right now with just this uh, this simple pass here. Um, and once the corner here is rebuilt, it'll be uh, much much stronger. And because of course now there's no there's nothing here. I do have this piece, but I misplaced it. I don't know where where I put it. And this is the piece that goes here, and then it has two bolts that connects to the uh, steel frame of the truck, or the well of the bed. So I only have this piece to recreate after all, and the rest is just stitching everything up because this is patchwork, and we're gonna save this fender. Uh, this fender is about a thousand dollars in fiberglass. This is the only place I can find one. Is a custom shop who makes this fender, and then you can order it with two more inches. Two inches water or whatever but uh, yeah they make really good strong fiberglass parts which is way better than this SMC because it's easier uh, it takes more time to create one hence the price but it is uh, so much easier and faster to, to repair just gotta just just gotta do fiberglass I mean this is pretty easy but this thing this thing is a pine but if it'll last me two three four years I'm good. I'll have plenty of time to go down in the states and uh, get a uh, two more, uh, two more brand new fender in fiberglass and do whatever I want with them. Uh, please, uh, you gotta wait at least two, three hours just to make sure everything is uh, strong enough to remove them. And then we're gonna sand that down a little bit, and I will be ready to put a, a second coat of mesh. I'm gonna do two, two coats, well, two layers of mesh, one on either side. And it should be plenty. Of course, it's gonna be a pain because uh, this this doesn't matter all how it looks. So you'd be tempted to just repair this side, but you gotta do it on the other side. Otherwise, it's just gonna it's gonna crack elsewhere. It's gonna have a uh, piece because where the glue is and the mesh is, it is a layer of glue and a layer of the SMC. But where the crack is, it's only the glue. It's gonna create a uh, a stress point, you know. So it's not gonna it's not gonna last. So the the, uh, the bad part about this is we gotta do it on the other side where it is the the part that you see when you're looking at the truck. So it's gonna be a lot of sculpting just to make it disappear disappear this uh, little mesh. And there's gonna be bond there was gonna be filler, but there is a specific filler meant for that. I'm uh, I'm hitching to try it out. So yeah, we'll see how that goes and how long it lasts. And now we degrease it, at least once. Once I've done that, I'm gonna send it again and degrease it again. You gotta be quick with this. Once it's degreased, you gotta put glue right on top of it before the mold release comes out of the plastic. This is what it does over time. It changes color too. the glue and as you can tell it's very whitish because it's sanded down and it's uh, free of grease 
well, I'd say, yeah, I should say uh, wax, because it is wax. Basically, they put the wax inside the plastic so they don't have to prep the mold every time they want to print a fender. They just keep on printing, pop it out, well, cool it, pop it out, and uh, start over again. But it's very cheap to manufacture in the end. Once you got the mold, it's much uh, much quicker than a uh, fiberglass. Fiberglass gotta put the, put the stuff in, and uh, you gotta lay either and lay it down or um, use vacuum. So this process is much simpler, and that's why they went with it because they want to make the truck as cheap as possible and sell it for, to you for uh, 90 grand. So now we're gonna cut a few pieces of mat here. And I'll put that down and we'll let it sit for a while.